Okay. I know. Please. Before start, before finish, and before we have lunch. I know we are a little tired because it's a long morning, but now, yes, but, eh? always. <laughs> but now it's uh, penalties. Of course, I avoid some part of penalties relating to the center forward. We can see some situations, but I, I, this presentation is different situation of penalties. Yeah. According to the rules, for a defending player to impede an attacking player from behind within the six meter area when the attacking player is facing to the goal and making a shooting action unless the defending player makes contact only with the ball. This is rules. We know very well. Now we can see some videos. If the defending players fall, the script in this rule prevents the attacking player from scoring, a penalty must also be called. Okay, this presentation is basically videos, 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 because I think it's better understanding that uh, to speak a lot. In face of the goal, foul from behind, he tried to progress in the action, <coughs> penalty. We can see again. Okay. Clear. I don't repeat because it's very clear. We have a lot of videos. Now in face, ball in the hand, pam. And by China's number. Exclusion, second defender, penalty. He touched only the hand, but the fall was from behind, faced the goal, ball in the hand, penalty. Again, pam. I think it's the last one. In this area. And fast break over the right side. Now from behind again. This is clear, eh? And no discussion. The penalty. Delayed penalty in general. Thomas spoke about center position, but in general, delayed penalty. The referee must delay the call of penalty until the shoot or attempted shoot is completed and must award a penalty unless. The attacking player scores. First example, the attacking player scored and was okay, was okay. This player swing to the goal, penalty delayed and score goal. This is good. This is good. Penalty, penalty, still. Delayed, no goal, puff, penalty. Look, the delay was a little long, but he wa she was in the situation always to score. I want to repeat. Good position in front of the goal, uh, pa, pa. and referee give penalty.
Here, the same delay, delay, but the second, the other one, both. Referee give opportunity, attacking player try to progress, try to progress, but finally cannot. Penalty. Look now. Delay, 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 but... Okay. Clear, eh? No question. Look this one. Because this is important to understand if the attacking player is in progress, he still has opportunity. Let's play. Because maybe score, like the first example, maybe missed, and you give the penalty that you didn't give before, because it was. Now, they lose opportunity. Look this. And we have the penalty. penalty. Give penalty just at the moment that commits the penalty, but he has advantage. He was progressing to the goal, and the score, the goal is not valid. Again. And we have the Could penalty. be goal. Yes, this was in when the, with the old rule. Eh? This is. And another one in the same. Could let play a little bit more. If not, this happens. Penalty. Oh. And we have the next. And she was immediately. Can be because she lose one second, less than one second, the ball. But don't. Be too fast to stop. give sanction. For example, this penalty. Don't take only one fraction of time. Because if you take this time, probably <coughs> this is not penalty finished with goal. Probably. Look, penalty, yes. And but immediately she took five the ball and let play in penalty because you had the second opportunity. Okay? But when there is a defender in front between the shooter and the goal, cannot be penalty. We can see some examples. The same, if the goalkeeper is coming from the front and the attacking player have the ball in the hand, if he touches the attacker, is nothing because it's the foul is from in front and the attacker has the ball in the hand. Only when the attacker has the ball in the front face to the goal, only is penalty when the foul comes from behind. In this case, this defender now is just protecting the goal was penalty but the defender is together with the goal with the goalie with the goalkeeper sorry in the goal i repeat look this defender is going just now penalty but defender is in front no penalty another example Now, there is second defender here. They give penalty, but it's not correct because it was one defender between. Look now. It was interesting because this was just starting the new rule and he protest about the ball in the hand. And he was right, it was not penalty, but not because the ball in the hand, because the defender was in front. <laughs> Another example.
Now, look, defender with them. Next chance. Cannot be penalty. The goal, but we have okay. Ah. Penalty for In favor of Israel. Then, no, even. Of <laughs> okay. <clears throat> I told you before with the new rules, when the goalkeeper commits any foul inside this light blue area. Light blue area is the area be between two meters line from the post and six meter line. When goalkeeper goes out of the goal, goal is empty and commit any foul, inside here, this is penalty. Remember outside is Tactical foul exclusion, eh? but inside is penalty. Look now. Clear, eh? I repeat. Goal empty, goalkeeper out. Inside this light blue area, fouled to prevent a goal, penalty. If the player in reality had the ball in the hand, it's nothing. Okay? This is example ball in the hand. Ball in the hand is nothing. Clear the difference, eh? With the ball in the hand from in front, no. But any other foul inside this light blue area from the goalkeeper is penalty. This is good because the goalkeeper put the hand with the ball from the attacking player out under the water. This is not penalty. This is contra foul because attacking player touch the ball and put the ball under the water. I repeat. Look now. This is underwater. Another one. Ball in the hand, foul from in front. Exclusion, receive the ball again, but ball in the hand, goalkeeper from front, no penalty. Another one. Ball in the hand, nothing. Okay? Well, no, I repeat. Now the goalkeeper touched the arm, but with the ball in the hand. Sometimes, be careful, because we focus maybe with what is doing the goalkeeper. Here, the goalkeeper is doing nothing, but the Penalty comes from the defender, from behind. Look now. Goalkeeper, nothing, touch the ball. But the defender... This is penalty, not the goalkeeper, but the defender. I repeat. Take care about this. Defender is committing. Okay. <clears throat> if, especially rebounds, the attacking player is inside two meters area, illegal position, maybe he's going out, but in that moment there is a one shoot and rebound to him, even if they commit some foul to this player in illegal position, is illegal position, it's not a penalty. 
This is correct, for example. This one is out. Try to progress for the ball. Defender commits foul. She was correct in correct position. It's okay. Now it's correct. Try to go. Penalty. Another good situation. He was outside of the goal area. And he received a foul. Penalty. Now he's out. He entered. Foul. Penalty. Was correct. Now it's incorrect. He was inside two meters. Ah, it's not penalty because, but it's an example. Eh? So this player cannot take the rebound if some at defender is not this case, but commits a foul. It's, it's not a penalty because he was illegal position. I think the next one we can see. Ah. What do you think? Nice simulation, eh? Again. Be careful with this. He was in correct position, but doesn't receive any foul. Nothing. Nothing. Be careful with this. Okay. Men up. Men up the same. The attacker receiving the ball must be outside two meters area or behind the ball line. And the pass cannot be advanced in such a way that the attacker receiving the ball moves forward into an illegal position. We spoke in the previous presentation some videos about this. Now we can see some examples, men up or woman up. And again, the chance for Team Germany to close the gap. And we have the five. This is correct. And she was the behind the goal line, at the ball line. The receive and a foul, the receive the ball, penalty. penalty Another example. This one, I think. Now, hold, but in correct position, maybe inside, but the ball was, he was behind the goal, the ball line. Look, the ball line. This is penalty, correct position. Another one. Clear, eh? Look now. Always behind the goal, the ball line. This, you can see, should be penalty. He was in correct position. Epa. I don't know what happened now. This is another one. Eh? I repeat. Ball is there now, behind. He's inside two meters area, but behind the ball line, no problem. He received foul, is penalty. 
Um, this is, it happens in uh, Los Angeles, I think, was the first situation that it was penalty situation. Referee was good, arise the hand because let play. In that moment, finish the time. And after finish the time, he missed the situation, the, the action. And what is this? Was a surprise because everybody was, eh, what is this? Is the time, is the previous penalty, is the previous penalty. Why? Because just, it was excluded player, but just in the moment that arise the arm, this is penalty. I let play, but now it's penalty. If I miss the action, I don't know why. Maybe because they shoot, maybe because the foul, or maybe because the time. I go back to, to the really situation, the previous situation penalty. Doesn't matter the, the, who is the referee, I defend him because it was a surprise, yes? You said earlier that the referee may raise his arm in this situation playing the advantage. So if the referee doesn't raise his arm, this says here that if the referee raises his arm, indicating it happens, is it the same situation there if the arm isn't raised, the expiration is still a penalty? The raise the arm is, can be or not, it depends. This, the, 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 the concept is, was penalty or not? Yes. I raise the arm, or maybe I don't have time to raise. Oh, okay. Just on this one, the way it reads is that only if the referee's arm is, is raised, it's penalty. I think it will be clearer if it says, if the referee is playing advantage and the expiration of time goes, then it's penalty. It's if, if it's playing advantage and the player missed the possibility to score, you go back to the penalty. It doesn't matter if they miss because time possession, foul, out, I don't know what. I, I agree with you, but I'm just saying the way that reads is it's only a penalty if the referee's arm is raised. That's but how it reads. As Thomas said, is, um, the, to raise the arm is not mandatory. The, the problem is if it's penalty. If you can raise the arm, better. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Example. <laughs> we ask for the bar. You will see now the image. Look the time. Now it's penalty. Now zero. Go back to the penalty. If there is an excluded player, and the time of the exclusion is over just in that moment, the excluded play player must be in. Because, very clear, when one player has right to enter, when the time possession arrives to 20. In that moment, if it's perfect, immediately the secretary arrives the flag, immediately enter, and after, arrive to zero. Always we need some time. But he had right when the time arrived to 20. If the time arrived to 20 before zero, he's in. This is the example that the moment that he commit penalty, time is one, <coughs> let play, referee is not looking the time, let play, zero, okay, miss the action, go back, penalty. Okay? Actions to prevent a probable goal is the typical situation that one player put the ball away or one coach from the bench put the ball in the water to, to, to cut a contra-attack, etc., etc. Doesn't matter the moment, doesn't matter the situation in the field. To prevent, in this case, is penalty. Some examples.
Look now. Boom. He's out of six meters, no problem. He's preventing to put, put the ball away for what? This is penalty. Second. Look now. Oops. It's going to be penalty. Clear, eh? He was out of six meters, not in the middle of the field, but closer. Doesn't matter. This is penalty. I repeat. Look, six meters where is. Penalty. Finish. And this is the last video. Interference. One excluded player who interfered in the game is penalty. This is a very good example because sometimes our decision is according that he interfered volunteer. What does mean volunteer? In this case, the excluded player chose to go to re-entry area passing in front of the goal. He was swimming, it was a shoot, touch his back, puff, out. What is this? One excluded player, the obligation is don't interfere. Maybe you can go underwater, you can go to the other side, but if you pass in front of the goal, you are taking a big risk. The explosion the nuke, the fourth superiority, recover! This is clear. Now in the replay, it's very clear. Look. Ah, but he didn't realize, I don't know what. No, no, no. He cannot go just in the shoot, in the line of the shoot. This is penalty. Okay, we are arriving. Thank you very much.